Hi there. I thought I would show everybody a little project I've been working on. Um, about a month or so ago, I bought this uh, 1980s vintage IBM Wheelwriter 6 typewriter, Daisy Wheel typewriter, and I got it on Craigslist, about 75 bucks, and it works great. And I thought I would try to turn it into a printer or teletype uh, that I could control from my computer. Uh, so what I did, I actually guess I could have bought a, uh, an option card for it. Uh, I haven't been able to find one actually, uh, but I thought I'd reverse engineer it uh, using my trusty uh, Saley Logic Analyzer here. And uh, the nice thing about this vintage of IBM typewriter is, if we open it up here, you can actually see they have very nicely uh, labeled uh, their PCB and the ports coming off of it. This is in the front. There's an equivalent one in the back. You can see on there, there's a bunch of things uh, labeled uh, the bus and ground, uh, 5 volts. And the bus and ground turned out to be the important one. And by the way, I have covered up the too loud beeper as well with tape. Um, and uh, the bus and the ground, I connected up with the logic analyzer and uh, started typing things and collecting the data. And uh, after a bit of reverse engineering, I was able to determine uh, some of the codes that the uh, front board from the type from the actual keyboard uh, PCB, there's a PCB up front and one also in the back, uh, that was sent, the codes that it was sending to make a type. So I got out a light blue bean Arduino compatible uh, board, connected it up to this breadboard, which by the way has many more wires on it than are actually necessary. It's got a little button and so forth. Uh, but basically there's one MOSFET transistor and a resistor, and that's about it. And I hooked it all up and did a bit of uh, coding, and let me give you a little demo of what it can do. Let's see, I'm going over to my computer now and typing a little script in. Bonus points to anybody who guesses what this is uh, before it finishes printing. Uh, as you can tell, uh, this is not normal typewriter text. Uh, I actually decided to uh, make it into a bit of a dot matrix type printer. It's about, oh, 50 dots per inch or so. Just using the, uh, the period key and advancing the type head uh, one period width and one period height. and um, yeah, it'll do moderately decent graphics for a typewriter. It's actually relatively slow. I'm trying to figure out how to speed it up. Um, the, uh, there's some timing issues that you need to you know, make things timed uh, correctly so the, uh, the actual back end of the typewriter doesn't get confused. So it's a little slower than I wanted it, but that's the way it goes. And uh, I finish up with the text. Or the there we go. All right. So that's the uh, typewriter uh, printer uh, that I've been working on. Still, it's still a work in progress. Uh, I think the uh, the next thing is going to be, like I said, speeding up some of the. Uh, the graphics, if you will, and uh, maybe uh, tightening it down and getting it to work with an actual regular Arduino. Uh, this one's uh, low energy Bluetooth and it's a bit finicky with that, but otherwise uh, it's been kind of a fun project to work on and uh, hit me up with any questions you have about it and I will uh, post the GitHub repository down below if you um, would like to uh, clone it or hack on it yourself. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.